Hop on the beat, no spazz, you got him in shot. Hop on the beat, no spazz, you got him in shot. Hello guys, this is my first tutorial I'm making. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to do that text overlay. I've looked everywhere to do it for myself, but there is none, no uh, DaVinci Resolve tutorials for that text overlay. And yeah, so I figured it out and I thought I'd share it with you guys. And yeah, let's go. First thing we need to do is go to the Fusion page, add a text layer, and this hop. So yeah, something like that. We put this, yeah, the size I would say. Uh, you can choose any font you guys want. I'm just gonna choose a random one for a quick tutorial. So change this to follower. After that, you go to the modify page. You put this on 0 0.8. Uh, change this to random, but one by one. Go to the shading page. And now we just have to keyframe any place you want. Like depends on how you want to look like. And then we keyframe this right here, the appearance. And then we go there, for example, to six, and we click that. It's done. And then we go here again, do that, the same thing again. And yeah, something like that. And this uh, font is a bit thick, but you can still fix it. You can mark this, and like change this a little bit, yeah, something like that. Yep, there you go. And uh, let's change the color to blue. And you can see any changes like that. But yep, there you go, there's a change. And we can make this to like go from blue to white. Yep, something like that. I don't like the font, but yeah, you can. You guys can fix the font yourself. Choose any like font you want. And uh, keyframe this. Do that. Yep. Now you add the soft glue. I use soft glue. I have also the X glue, but I don't want to use it in this tutorial because my my PC is not that good, so it's gonna lag. But yeah, that's X glue right there. Hey, it looks like something like that. You can also add the black shadow. Yep. Yeah, simple as that. Now we can also do this, which is taking that, putting it here. This is the way I, how I do it. Some people might have a better way to do it, but this is the way how I do this. Let me show you guys. Just to put like an underline. For me, it's simple like this, so this is why I do it. Uh, we change this to blue, maybe. Yeah, blue. Yeah, blue. Uh, put the soft edge a bit higher. Now we get another one of this. We cover the whole line, which is that one. The whole line we put this on the sub subtract and then we go at the beginning we keyframe this the center and we go at the end and we just do this and boom that's done now we have the sub glue make that like that and boom there you go simple as that you can do like zooming in and stuff like that i'm not gonna do it in this tutorial because we don't have time I don't want to make it a long tutorial, it's not like we don't have time. Now let's do the next one. How I do it is uh, quite easy, I just copy this one. Put it here. And uh, change this to... So what we do when it's long, we just remove that. 
Yep. Make this more small. I don't know. Oh, fuck. All right, anyway. Add another one. Yep. Slow. Right there. And you should have something like this. Which is not good. Now, we make this right there. Oops. And that. Yep, that's better. Yep, there you go. Simple as that. This needs more shadow. You guys can do this. Add more shadow. Or you can just like lower the glow. But since the character here is white, it's like not coloring correctly. So yeah. You can do any kind of thing, so I'm just like making it simple. Okay. Let's do this last one. <clears throat> yeah. Gotta miss, gotta miss, gotta miss. Uh, you can also mess around with uh, by adding a transform node. You can mess around like zooming in and out, stuff like that. Like, for example, we can put it right here, another keyframe. And we change this. There's some uh But we don't go at the beginning, we go right here. Right there. And then we zoom out again. It should look something like this. When it does that, you saw that quick zoom? Just like move this. And yep, it's fixed. And yeah, and then you just like mess around with all the transitions. I don't want to make it long term. Guys. So if you guys need anything else, let me know in the comments section. And hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you guys. And yeah, I will see you in my other video.